Okay, let's continue Super Mario Odyssey. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking, by the way. Starting this with a bit of a fresh mind that's earlier in the evening. I don't think I'm going to do the jump rope thing yet. <laughs> I'm going to actively avoid it for a little while. Just, I don't feel like suffering just yet. always remember that it wasn't easy to do this. We'll get to it later. I need to remember where these nuts go. Those specific spots. Okay, well, there's something I'll have to get to later. still weird to me, just, I don't know, Mario's a creature. Can't be human. Just looks so proportionally different to everyone. Finding things, at least. It's honestly been so long. But I want to set this up first, because with these you have to wait for them to grow, if I'm not mistaken. So that's why I kind of want to deal with it right now. Okay, here's one. Perfect. Just get them growing while I go do the rest of the stage. I can get up there. There we go. Okay, there. There it is. Okay, two. I just need one more now. This last one's probably... Oh, no, it's up there. I can see it. Okay, I thought it'd be on higher ground. All right, how do we get up there? Okay, 
Uh oh. Please don't vanish. Please don't vanish. No! No! Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> Oh, I was close. Oh, well. It's alright, I'll do it again. I almost got up there. Maybe I can do it this way. Hmm. Am I overcomplicating it? Oh yeah, I am. I have overcomplicated this. <laughs> There's actually a simple way up here. Okay, there we go. That's all set up. Now let's... Just go explore. What did I just do? <laughs> I, I can't replicate it. How? <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> Hang on, I want to see it again. Sorry. Mildly distracted. <laughs> Mildly distracted. That's that's pretty funny. All right. But like, I was trying to get in here, but uh, obviously that's nothing. Okay. Does this lead anywhere? No. They're just going walking into the light. Okay. Oh, dude, that... That's so typical of me. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was funny. Shattered knees. Oh, yeah, this is no joke. Audio sounds different from yesterday in what way? Bad? Good? Oh, 
Uh oh. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> Bit CRN, never mind. Okay. Were well, you watching at a lower quality? Which was duplicating the audio when you went to check yesterday's stream and came back it was fixed oh okay yeah probably just a random bug okay like always mention that stuff because even if it's like a false alarm it's still super important to me What have I done? Okay, it's fine. Oh, I see. Okay, hang on. No, wrong way! Wrong way! Why are you doing that? Sorry, I'm just having a drink. doing it again. <laughs> oh. Well, that was, um... Okay. <laughs> it led to a discovery, I guess. Me trying to be a vandal. I guess if that not had happened, I wouldn't have looked up, so... Nobody gets in here, but the building inspector. Oh yeah, the outfit I need. I need the the Mario Maker outfit. Hang on. There we go.
Oui. I mean, I could say Pauline now, but I just want to get some stuff out of the way. Oops. <laughs> football! There's something to the football, but I forget what it is. Climb the tree. Hope the next Nintendo console has achievements. I mean, it might. If their current, like, way of doing things on the internet is set in the year 2000, then... You know, if the Switch is seven years old, it would be approaching that time where it's like the 2010s for Nintendo. You'll take a working eShop. <laughs> you mean one that doesn't eat up memory and lag? I've never seen an online store just like lag as much as that one does. to fix it. Yeah, because it's just one of those things that minor inconvenience. To be honest, I'd rather that their games had a better online experience. Like, there are some that do. But I just think back to how bad Mario Maker was. I gotta say, F099, you know, very surprised with how well that one ran. That one was, was pretty good. Mario Maker was a gem for Twitch viewers, what, to make fun of it? <laughs> I was, I was, yeah, I don't know. I think everyone had high expectations for two. And then it kind of flopped, and I think their biggest mistake was just... Um, crippling the way people were submitting levels and stuff to the streamers because they used that website and then they just didn't repeat that website for two so it was like it kind of destroyed the way levels were being submitted for play but also just them doing things like removing costumes which was just a really good avenue for creativity and I don't know it just It was a disappointing sequel. It had a lot of potential and I think they kind of squandered it. And the thing is, it doesn't take too much to realize like that game is something that... It's made by... By an online community, you know, it's... What keeps that game alive is effectively streaming, in my opinion. That's why one hung around for so long. So I'm okay with them, like, removing things, but they didn't have anything to replace it, really. Oops. One hundred man was amazing and endless just sucked. Yeah.
And they didn't improve the browsing experience at all, so I don't know. Oh, I think this is where you have to collect the, the band for Pauline, actually. I'm getting ahead of myself here. I'm gonna give Mario a concussion. <laughs> the way I'm just slamming him into these walls. The other thing was they kind of stopped doing updates for that game too soon. Much like Animal Crossing. And so many other games where they just kind of just didn't really give them too much of a run before they stopped doing updates or major ones anyway. Oh, what have I done? What am I doing? Football has to be a thing. I just don't remember what it is. I'm going for the coins at the moment. the hard ones. Alright, I'll go to the store now and buy the, uh, the outfit. Which I think it's back this way, actually. Oh, right. <laughs> I was like, wait, what did I just do? Sewer. Vandalism! Roar! Another one over there. I see it. I think you just have to jump on the thing and go around and over. Just the idea of maybe this painter has set up this stack of paint cans just ready to do a massive job and then Mario just knocks them all away. I 
look at how short he is. <laughs> this is an average height person, man. It's just... There's no way Mario is human. I just refuse to believe it. Okay, this is all done. Hey, Star, how's it going? Okay. I'll equip the Mario Maker outfit. He was in the Mario movie, what, the human? Okay, how's the weekend going? It's going good. I went to see the uh, Wonka movie today. It was good. And, uh, so <laughs> learned about this other movie that kind of made me laugh about how, how bad and corny it, it seemed. Have you heard of the movie The Beekeeper? Or oh, I think it's just called Beekeeper. I can't remember. So there were posters for for it all over the place, and my brother said I had to see the trailer. So, do you know in cartoon shows where the the main characters might be watching TV, and then suddenly an ad for like a fake movie comes on, and it's just some over exaggerated thing, making fun of action movies. So the trailer to this movie is exactly that, but like unironically, it's it's. A movie. <laughs> just... Oh man, the premise is just so ridiculous, but... It's a Jason Statham movie, right? So he's... A guy that's gonna take down a crime syndicate, and it's one of those movies where once he enters a room and sees a room full of bad guys, he just beats the crap out of them. But... He is quite literally a beekeeper. Like, that's his profession. And so he's dressed in the outfit of someone going to work like they're gonna tend to a garden and it just looks even the camera work it just looks very low budget and i just watched the trailer and the entire time i was just thinking this can't be real and even the the line the line <laughs> to sell the movie i'm like oh you know wow that's such a cool one-liner the cool one-liner is I protect the hive. And the connection they draw is like the crime syndicate is using a B as a logo. It's like, oh, okay, I, I see. Anyway. It's gotten pretty bad scores on Rotten Tomatoes, but like... If you want a good laugh, look at the trailer to that movie. It. I was watching that and I'm like, this can't be real. This feels like a Rick and Morty bit, like... I can just imagine Rick and Morty sitting in front of a TV and then the trailer to this movie comes on. But um, other than that, Wonka movie was, was fun. I enjoyed. I think I used the... What is that tank here? Anyway, that's my little story of the day. Also, just... Again, sharing that story I talked about yesterday when I was playing this. The Reddit thread? Oh, man. Oh, did I miss something here? Oh, I'm back here. No, hang on. I definitely missed something. What did I miss? Oh, 
There's like more moons to get. Does this go back? There was more to do. You know what? Maybe I had to blow up the cars. Should have stayed in the tank sooner. And longer. Okay, this makes sense. Do a 360? Like, for reals? Or just... Are we doing the Star Fox thing? Just watch the trailer, one of the John Wick movie. Yeah. But the moment he said the thing about, like, he protects the hive, I just, I laugh. <laughs> so getting introduced to that, I introduced them to, like, the, uh, the girlfriend with the Grover voice, that, that thread on Reddit. There's one more, where am I looking? Oh, there. One of the top YouTube comments I have the final antagonist is revealed to be Pooh Bear. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. The whole thing. Oh, this is bad. Hang on, get the tank. Okay, just shoot it. There we go. It's got to be one of these movies I can't have a very large budget, and I bet it's just something they knew they were going to lose money on. And it's probably just like a, a tax, a movie done for tax reasons, I don't know. There's usually a second moon in these sub-areas, so let's just make sure we look. There's always two moons. Yeah, I think so too. Just gonna have a good look. Is there something under here? No. You have to Google the second moon for here. Well, let's see if I don't have to. cab that I arrived in. But what happens if I just... Does this just take me back? Okay, it does. Just checking. 
The film carried a $40 million budget? What? I guess a lot of that budget didn't go to writing, huh? I think if it presented itself more in a humorous way, like, you know, it's just not taking itself seriously and the angle is a bit of a comedy angle, then the movie would probably be alright. But I think it's just the fact that it, it's trying to be legit and serious, like an actual action movie. Just the premise is so absurd. You know, I, I can turn my brain off to watch movies. Like, I've seen some of the Fast and Furious movies, and the stuff they do in those, it's in, insane. But I can turn my brain off and enjoy those movies, because it's like, alright, at least the idea is not something ridiculous, so to speak. It's just the actions the characters do sometimes might be just something that would never happen in a million years. But this is just like, I'm sorry, a beekeeper. What do you mean, a beekeeper? I hope there's just cheesy hacking scenes in that movie as well. That's the only thing missing. And I'm talking about, like, you know, swordfish levels of cheesy hacking. That movie has one of, one of the, like, funniest scenes to me. It's just Hugh Jackman deciding to make a computer worm. And so he's sitting at a desk and he's just dancing at his desk the majority of the time and he's just like using his hands to move around cubes to make a worm. And the entire time he's like, oh yes, ha <laughs> yeah, yeah, now we're talking, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's just such an absurd scene. And there are times where he's just clearly just keyboard mashing and it's just like, ah, oh, great. Hollywood depictions of hacking and computer worms and viruses. And the classic CSI scenes as well. Okay, there's a reason I could get here. Why could I get here? Why is it allowing me to be here? The only thing I can think of is like, this will let me get here. Or this is something, oh no, even then. That's real sharp, can't remember, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I have a vague recollection as well. I just don't remember what.
Maybe it's just a ground pound. But I thought... What if it's something dumb like just shooting the moon? Sometimes Nintendo games do that. You just have to think laterally. I do remember having to shoot something. I don't think you can hit the moon from here. There's a reason. Oh, there. There we go. Now we can leave. Okay. Well, let me try and suffer for a little bit. This is by far the worst moon in the game, though. So let's. I'll try my best. I think they should have cut it off at 50. Volleyball is pretty bad. I don't know. I remember struggling with this one more. So annoying. <laughs> Unless you do the two player cheese. I don't know how to do the two player cheese. But the worst part is, is like when you go back to it, you're just in a slower rhythm and it's just you're a little more likely to mess up. Oh, for volleyball. I did better that time. Like last time I only got up to 50. Start the rip. There we go. One advice I remember is just listen to the sound and don't look at it, and I tried it then, but I don't know. Because it makes a sound, but I think it's easier to just look at the dust cloud. I had my eyes closed the whole time for that one. Almost messed that up.
did the early numbers by sight, but then the later ones by sound and eyes closed. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, I'll have a few attempts at it, and then we'll go back to doing moons. A hundred was way too much. That's a little better. I'm getting closer. That was two thirds of the way. At a certain point, you just have to trust that you make it and can't like second guess yourself. Three more attempts. I'm trying to align myself to the middle as well. That's the other thing. Two more tries. Hang on, not that. That doesn't count. Hurry up. Start it again. Again. <laughs> 67. I messed up at the same point. Alright, this is the last one. Oh, Mario must be exhausted. Yeah. I would not have the physical prowess to do this. Not even as a kid. I knew it, like, I, I was behind. 
All right, actual last last try. You could double dutch as a kid. Now you struggle to deal with one for more than five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Such is the passage of time. I look at like my niece sometimes just how the hell she has energy. Bottomless pit of energy at times. I wasn't looking at the number, but then I looked and I fucked it up. Cause I was like, how many is left? And that's where I fucked it up. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah! Uh, I should have just trusted, like, just. Ugh, okay. Just, I had my eyes just at, in a particular spot and I was in hyper focus. I'm, do, I'm gonna try and do it again. I fucked up. I did too high of a jump. Why am I still doing this? <laughs> okay. <sighs> Gotta want it. training montage stuff. Do the best! Stay around! No, <laughs> Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> Alright, we're done. Yeah, it didn't take as long as it could have taken. <laughs> Easily the worst moon in the game. I was just focused on a spot. And I was just focused on seeing Mario's head bob in that spot, like, make trying to make it bob in that spot every time. And just focusing on that spot. My eyes kind of hurt. <laughs> but, I got it done. Uh, 
Yeah, it worked. There's coins here. Gotta be something with those footballs. I just don't remember what. You got to look up those coins. I mean, there's a few other kingdoms I haven't really gotten everything in. There's another sewer I need to go to. Guess that's fine. Thought I'd messed that up for some reason. Nah, getting down. It's rats. That drop coins bigger than their whole bodies. I mean, that's just classic video game logic. It's just, oh, here's a rat. I killed it, and it dropped me a sword that I'm gonna, I'm gonna use. doing wait this isn't even a moon no! <laughs> all right well I guess I deserve that Try to do ya. Yeah. Hang on, I'm just trying to get up there. Let me get up there. That was never gonna work. Hang on, what if I just. There we go, that's better. No, it's not better. Yeah, you're gonna see Mario hit his face against a brick wall. Repeatedly. And it's just the damage I've probably done to his knees. At this point. There's definitely some kind of permanent damage to the knees. He's 43, his knees are blown out by now. Jeez. It's scary. Even think about just how old he is. Oh, good! Oh, 
eventually he will be as old as... I mean, I guess he's currently as old as, like, how he was portrayed in um, the Super Show from the 80s. With, uh... What was the dude's name? Well, he wasn't... Because, you know... I know he was a wrestling celebrity. And then he got the gig to do, like, uh... Mario. Forget his name. Lou Albano, that's it. Yeah, I knew it was Lou something. <laughs> I just wanted to drop. <sighs> he was in his 50s for that show. Yeah, so he's kind of getting there. Because that was like one of the last things he did, right? Man, my favorite, my favorite scene from that show is like, there's a part with, ah! <laughs> um, where the laugh track, he's having a conversation with Luigi, and the laugh track just makes him sound like he, uh, he gets angry at Luigi. It's an innocent conversation, but like, Luigi says something along the lines of, oh, Mario, you got some spaghetti on your shirt. And then the laugh track happens, and it sounds like he says, Well, fuck you, Luigi! <laughs> uh, I just remember that going around the school. Just, dude, Mario said, fuck you, Luigi. Okay, uh, take a picture. He did stuff for another ten years, looks mostly wrestling related. Ah. You know what, without playing the clip, I mean, the video. Okay, here it is. Warning, this video may be inappropriate for some users. <laughs> even YouTube, even YouTube has picked up on the fact that Mario is saying, fuck you, Luigi. That's, that's hysterical. Okay, anyway. Well, fuck you, Luigi! Uh, I don't know. I saw that on tape, and it was just funny. <laughs> it's just the laugh track makes it sound like he's saying fuck. I'm sure he didn't say it. Can I post it on disc because it was quiet? Oh, I know why. Easy fix. It's because I've lowered the volume to 70%, but I can easily change it. Oh, we're just going to have to listen to it again, aren't we? <laughs> okay, here we go. Louder? Time for a new day. But as we always say, neatness counts. That's right, Mario. And by the way, you have a little piece of spaghetti on your overalls. Thank you, Luigi. And you have a little bit of spaghetti sauce on your shirt, as usual. <laughs> well, fuck you, Luigi. Alright, let me put that back to 70 so then it doesn't blow out people's ears. <laughs> I don't know, you decide. 
did Mario really tell Luigi, fuck you? That show was great. There's a way to climb this, right? Yeah, there we go. I want an easy thumbnail for later. Eh, eh, base. There we go. I don't know. One of these frames will work. <laughs> Time to shatter some knees. I think I'll go meet Pauline now. Whoops. Sorry. Hi. New Donk City really means the world to me. I just can't thank you enough for all your help, Mario. Mm -hmm. You must you really must join us for our upcoming festival. I'd love to show you my gratitude to both you and the city with a surprise. You think you could find me four backup musicians so I could do a small musical number, something simple. Okay. The first one's free. Yahoo! Oh yeah, the dance he does is funny. Good news, I know where one of the band members is. It's because I repeatedly messed this up, so I know where he is. See, that's the benefits of messing up, is like, you learn an area, and you commit it to memory, because it gets burned into your nightmares. Can we all intend? Oh, he's on battle bus. Ranty Kelly Yuck. Do you think that the way these humans are talking is trying to imitate a New York accent, or is it just, like, gibberish? Maybe it's just the way AI thinks that New York sounds like. The other musician. They kind of sound like The Sims as well. <laughs> they have a very Sims vibe to it. I just wish it wouldn't keep bringing me back here. Okay. 
Chat? What's with the serious pace, pal? Blah 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 blah. Yay! They're nice and easy moons. That's all the musicians we need, thanks. I'm amazed at your persistence. You should consider running for public office. Now I just need to figure out this other problem. See, the underground power plant seems to be out of commission. We need that thing to supply power to the festival. I don't suppose you're familiar with underground work, are you? Better, better, better. Better, better, better. Um, I needed to go down into the sewers anyway. Checking. All right, this. What have I done? Okay, <laughs> everything's fine. Can't hit this one, can I? <laughs> okay, I get impatient with the jumping sometimes. <laughs> Should go for less greedy jumps. Because oh, I'm pretty sure I have to activate all of these. I would imagine these are the things that generate power. at it. I needed to stand on top of it. There's a section behind to the right. I can see it. Ah, oh, I have to do this again. Sludged up. Okay, it's fine now. Okay. Do it again, but this time I'm going to be surgical about this. There we go. Ha ha! No. Oh! Pauline, what are you doing here? Uh, I wanted to get a first-hand look at the problem down here. Well, 
Looks like that monster's fiends need to be taught a new donk lesson. Oh. I mean, the fact that they're spitting. I feel like, I don't know, that switch being there is probably important, just shattering the glass is like emergency procedure. Oh, that's how electricity works, okay. Thank you, Maru. Now that you, ahem, powered up the CD, it's time for the festival to begin. Now we can finally kick off the festival in style and power, shall we? Oh, hey, would you like to participate? Sure. Yes. Oh. This is a great segment. I mean... Ladies. They made a whole song for this, which I hope doesn't do copyright stuff. It might. I love how Pauline was kind of relegated to just a game from the 80s and they just brought her back for this. But they haven't really done much else with her outside of that. Gotta talk over the lyrics so then the VOD doesn't get muted later. <laughs> Alright, it probably won't. This is just the reality we live in. I mean, this this part is cool. I just gotta make sure I get the hidden moon. There should be a hidden moon here. This is the easiest way to get points. <laughs> Just do retro stuff. Do you think there's a secret in the oil? Nah, I'm kidding. Oh, right, I'm upside down still. There we go. Secrets! Okay. Hey, go in! Trying not to mess up. Money. Ah, oh. ah! Oh. <laughs> Damn it! In a child hated that. I thought I was clever. I was like, oh look, I got all the coins, and then I had to move. I thought that said okay. Like, oh, you did okay. <laughs> it's DK. I think the original Donkey Kong would be cool if the jump mechanics were like this, but the jump- the jumping in that game is just so stiff. Same with, uh, like, the Mario Brothers game, the arcade game. Oh, my 
coins. Oh, what have I done? Farewell, dong. That can't be comfortable. <laughs> Just doing crowd surfing. I love that he does, uh, like, like a leapfrog animation when he's jumping on them. Oh, uh, <laughs> just being an asshole. <laughs> Oh no. What am I doing? Alright. Thank you again, Mario. I'm dedicating this festival to you. We couldn't have done it without your help. Please get this as my gift. There we go. It's a cool little section. Yeah. Okay. We got more to do. Okay, I see some coins from here. Yeah, not yet. We got stuff to do. I'm sure there's still plenty to do here. I can't have visited everything. There's still the, uh, there's like a motor scooter level. That I've been holding off on. Up, go back, go back, go back. Oh, I didn't. Requires actual full seesaw. <laughs> okay, hang on. Let me do it from this range so then I get an extra second. It matters. Alright, there we go. Oh, apparently I got this one already. Alright, well, this is this. Thing, just four of them this time.
<laughs> I like the little skeleton dudes. I remember there being something behind. Oh wait, this. We are the building inspector, yes. What are we inspecting? What have I done? The building? Ah, I see. How foolish of me to think otherwise. Oh my god, I almost died there. I don't know how I managed to just stand on the edge of this. What's the inhaling for, Lolo? What's what's going on? <laughs> All right, thirty-nine months of chicken. Well, thank you for the thirty-nine months, dude. Thought you were gonna tell a story. How's your, uh, late evening going, anyway? Okay, have you seen the trailer for the movie The Beekeeper, by any chance? This is something that I, I learned about today. But it's a movie that my best description of it is when you see a movie on a cartoon show being played on TV and it's just like the most exaggerated thing that's just making fun of the action movie genre. This is that, but you know, they're unironically making the movie. <laughs> so. Good laugh. Good check out that trailer. Oh, Captain Toad's over there. Are you dawn? Wait, what are you trying to do, confirm me? <laughs> oh, you're trying to find a particular emote. Like, what? <laughs> you just keep tra typing the same word over and over again. Autocorrect was getting in the way. Okay, so you're, you're not going crazy. Have I seen the trailer for Dream Scenario? I can't say I have. But 
but yeah, I went to see the Wonka movie today and just had posters for this movie and I'd never heard of it. And I learned what it was and man, it made me laugh. <laughs> Dream scenario, you say. Hold on. I'll keep this open. 2023. I mean, it's got good reviews. It has Michael Sarah in it and Nicolas Cage. Okay. Nicolas Cage is playing a guy who is appearing in people's dreams around the world. Oh. Okay. Sounds interesting. Well, yeah, I'm not recommending this movie, The Beekeeper. <laughs> it's just more of... I don't... It's it's not something that I'd be like, yo, this is actually good. This is just to poke fun at it because of how absurd it is. Especially with the line they're using. something else to hear. But it does sound intriguing, that movie. Not intriguing enough to go see it at the movies, but like, enough to keep it in mind if it pops up on streaming services. missing one where you go do the motor scooter. I'm just trying to remember where. I think it's a taxi cab. Like, you had to take a taxi. Alright, like, who else would Jason Statham could be in a movie like this? Yeah. I know. But it's just... The fact that, you know, he has such a serious line and it's just the dude's a beekeeper. And just, you know, the line he has, I protect the hive. I don't know, man. That's... I can watch movies and turn my brain off, but it has to be that at the outset it's not it's not completely outrageous. Or I guess like another way that movie could be framed is they're not taking themselves too seriously, you know? Anyway, the Wonka movie was good. Not good. <laughs> what am I doing? I keep panic jumping. Behind me, got it. On man's trash. 
What have I done? No, it's fine. No, it's not. Good. <laughs> yeah, did you end up unlocking all the characters in Risk of Rain Returns? No, no! Ah, uh, the angle. I finished getting them, and there's like a support character that seems interesting. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. I think you're still missing a few. Okay. Yeah, there's one that it's intended for multiplayer. I think. Because the way it plays is like it, it creates items. Which is kind of strange, but it's pretty cool. Is it the chef? No, it's the... Uh, I think the scrapper. But the dude has a shovel, and he generates scrap. Kind of almost plays like Shovel Knight a little bit. Just making sure there's no purple coins or something up here. the one I was looking for, but that's okay. Oh, there's more. I just should just check all the buildings. Oh, it's not over. Oh my god. Keeps going. Do Australian shopping malls have those guys in them kiosks trying to scam you to buy their bullshit, or is it just an American thing? Um, more specific, like, what do you mean? What kind of bullshit are we talking about? Because there's people that sell, like, cosmetics in booths, um, or, like, those roses that are, like, in a glass case or whatever. Um, some of them sell... LED signs. Some of them sell mobile, f well, cell phone case, cell phone cases. I almost said mobile. Well, we're we talking like as seen on TV shit. Take control of this guy, this is funny. Hang on. Oh, the steering. Oh my god, this is. <laughs> I can't control. <laughs> Hold on. It's inverted. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. For example, there are these dudes that will offer to clean your shoes, but then if you let them, they'll clean one of your shoes and then try to sell you their kit for way over price. Oh no, we don't have that. We do not have that, nope. At least not that I've seen. Oh, 
Oh no, I remember this. Good. I appreciate the music though. I think the time is like 30 seconds that you need to beat. Just very aggressive sales tactics, not something you've ever experienced until moving off Maui. Yeah, I don't think we have that here. I don't think I've ever seen it. I'm just terrible at driving. Oh, what have I done? No! <laughs> go the way, go the other way. <laughs> Turn around. Oh, I, I was actually doing well. I, I just completely bricked it. Hey, uh, what? I gotta go downhill. I don't have enough. I can't quit. Okay, great. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, you know, sub 10 seconds, sub 10 seconds, 52 seconds. But yeah, that almost, I don't know, the whole kit thing. Oh. I'm okay. <laughs> this is why I refuse to play like Crash Team Racing again, because I swear it will devolve into me making just the most horrendous noises ever. I did laps in eight seconds. Like, the laps that I do well, I do pretty damn well. I see drivers. Yeah, well. Good enough. It's got to be even quicker. I think it's got to be 25 seconds. It's got to be perfect laps. Not good enough. It's hard to steer it. I did a that first lap was excellent. 
Okay. It's a good thing that I don't know anyone that's into racing games that watches me. <laughs> so this could be more embarrassing than what it is. You like racing games? What? No, you don't. <laughs> Are you just saying that? <laughs> oh, you actually do. <laughs> Not judging, no, but I mean, this has to be somewhat amusing. Like, honestly, if this gets any worse, like, I'm just gonna sound like. I'm just gonna sound like Tim the Tall Mountain Taylor at a certain point. It's Hot Wheels Racing, it doesn't count, it's fine. Oh, you know, I, I would, would like to say that, you know, if I was to play something that's more of a racing sim, that it would be any different. I don't think it would be much different. Damn it, like, I, I, I should be better at this because, okay, this isn't the first time I've done this. I did this the first time I played it, but also I spent like six hours on the damn Yakuza, like, side quests that involve this kind of racing. Like, I should be better at this. There was a whole, like, plot thread in one of the Yakuza games that involved slot car racing. Yeah, I thought you were joking. <laughs> Just <laughs> poke fun, but that's cool that you did it like semi competitively. Oh! <laughs> now, I think the thing that does me is like when I have to change orientation. You did grow up playing a few Ridge Racer and Burnout. I did. Ugh, I think Need for Speed Underground 2. Because a friend gifted that to me, so I played it. That was a very long time ago. I just need to cut like half a second off it, that's all. That second lap was great. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Going on such a weird angle. Nah, it's already too late. This is gonna cause me more problems than the jump rope, because the jump rope. I don't think it took this many attempts.
It's already over. <laughs> you gotta get eight second laps. Yeah, this one's probably not the one. That was a really bad corner I took. Could have been worse. I think almost the only game I had some semblance of success in, or like people were like, wow, you're good at this, was when Nintendo did the Mario 35 Battle Royale thing. Because I would consistently come top 10 in basically every round I did. I think for a while it was even like top 5. Just. Granted, not that many people played it, but still. Because just the muscle memory of Super Mario Brothers. Everything else is just well. I rely on me being entertaining, <laughs> as opposed to being skilled. Come on, man! <laughs> nah, this, this one is bricked. Already bricked. That's the only other thing of note that I've done is I used to do stuff like that uh that Emerson Messenger add-on that people loved in like the early 2000s. Viewers will be like, what the fuck's MSN Messenger? It's okay. Don't worry, just old people stuff. 0.45 off. Every time I, I mention that you feel another wrinkle from somewhere, oh, I, I wasn't looking. I had already lost, so. This looks like one of those Crash Bash minigames. You know what? You're right. It's just the steering is very, very sensitive. When I have, like, a, a dexterity issue, it's, you know, when it comes to precision, I don't have any. It's, I'll either do something too softly or I'll do it way too strong. I, I, I just don't have that fine control. I tell the story every time, but it's been a while. 
There was once in school where we were in class and the classroom was facing the school oval and typically students that wanted to leave the school went either through the front or the back oval and they picked the back oval typically because it was easier to sneak out. So, you know, this one dude was sneaking out and he made the mistake of going past that classroom. Teacher saw him, I was sitting next to the window, he tells me to tap the window to get his attention. So in my mind, I tap the window, and then next thing I know, my, my hand is through the glass. To be fair, the, the building was old and it was a cold morning, but, you know, the glass shattered around my entire hand. I was perfectly fine, not a single scratch, but it got the guy's attention. <laughs> I'm gonna be here forever. I wouldn't say I'm clumsy, like, you know, I'm not tripping over myself or, you know, I'm not a cartoon character by any means. However, like, right now, when it comes to moving the thumbstick lightly, I will overdo it. And that's why you see me either steering too hard or not steering enough. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, come on! Yes, challenge the player. I thought the jump rope was going to be the thing that took the longest in this. Oh no, this is just horrendous. Absolutely. Oh, it wasn't that bad, actually. It just felt horrible, because I kept bumping into shit at the end. I don't know, in some ways I do miss the days of MSN Messenger. And Winamp. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Assuming it's 25 seconds. Wait, what? what's the record? Hang on. Isn't there- there is a second moon, what is it? Ah, uh, see, track, Mario, Odyssey. Am I wasting my time? I swear there's two moons here. Hey, chat. So that was a complete waste of time. I can only do it once the game is complete. And it's 26 seconds, like, I, 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 I've overachieved here. I, just, I blame... just... I knew it was something I had to do. Okay, well the good news is when it comes time to actually do that again, well, I'm um, set, like... Getting 26 seconds, I got that.
I was getting constant 25s. It's just, I guess, let's just hope the muscle memory doesn't disappear before then, you know? That last, last one was insanely good. Just... <laughs> I didn't need to do it. <laughs> I remember there's something to this, but I don't remember what. Like, there's a reason you take this. Like, there's definitely a reason this is here, but I don't remember what. Or is Bub? <laughs> Hidden in scrap. Glittering above the pool. How do they take out the trash? Okay. Those are our clues. Well, there's a roof above the swimming pool. The world record for the car is 21 seconds. Damn. I mean, yeah. Seven seconds a lap. Like, it's just... I would imagine that... That's how, uh... How good you have to be. I'm only three seconds away from it. <laughs> I can do it. I'm kidding. There's no way. There's no swimming pool on that roof. Hmm. I wonder what they could be referring to. I mean, I'm kind of okay to move on to the next kingdom. It's the moment the moons kind of dry up. That's when I'm like, okay, well... Oh, I think this is it. Motor scooters. But hang on, how would I get it up here? Am I planning to play the other playthroughs? Uh, it has me intrigued, for sure. Probably. Because it's not a very long game. And there's enough that's kind of got me thinking, well, what's the rest of it, you know? Like, there's the other android that, you know, the story sh showed her and then nothing came of it. And then there's those chests. It's just... There's, there's enough there. It's kind of like Castlevania games. You play... You can play a Castlevania game and get the first ending. And the first ending is, like... It's an ending, but it leaves questions unanswered, and so you try to do better. So I think it's the same thing. Just, I think it's difficult to squeeze in three games into one stream. Though I guess tonight I could probably do it. For me, as long as I'm enjoying it and people watching it are enjoying it, then it's enough for me. Okay, 
I have no idea what it's referring to a pool. There's probably some building I haven't scaled. There's still coins missing as well. Oh no, what have I done? Ow. I also remember that there were two cars that you could latch onto, but I haven't seen a second one. That was, whoa! That sent me flying. Oh, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. Maybe it's time to move on to the next kingdom. I don't see much else. Oh, there's something. I don't want to be aimlessly wandering. This is perfect for scooters, but how do I even get a scooter up here? There's probably a way to do it. I vaguely recall it's a thing. Yeah, totally. Durable. Very durable. Yeah, I got a customer. You're the first person to park a motor scooter here. How about a little reward? There you go. Well, that was good. I got two with that one. Sign something that's a swimming pool. Or like trash, you know? Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay. There it is. I guess this is another one of these ones where I just 
take advantage of the fact that this is here. Trying to, trying to, <laughs> I can't get up here. There we go. Alright, so then something else talks about garbage. How did they even get up here? There's no stairwell. Maybe one of them's in a... in a dumpster? That would make sense. Wait, what's... have I been in here? What is this? Oh yeah, this. Yeah, 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 okay. This, I don't think I've been in. Yeah. Oh, this is what I was looking for. Oh boy. Alright, this is, this is fun. Can we... Oh. Okay, no, this is not what I was looking for. This is not what I was looking for. What the hell? Hey! Oh. I had to. <laughs> I missed a coin. I had to, I'm sorry. Not the one I'm thinking of. Not the one I'm thinking of. <laughs> Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. This is just. Crash Bandicoot mentality here. Because... Often there would be, like, the boulder stage, and then you just jump into the abyss after the end, and it's like, secret stage! Okay, I'm convinced. There is one more scooter segment that I'm thinking of, but maybe it's not in New Donk. I need something that garbage is standing out.
I have to walk into basically every building, <laughs> just in case I've done that. Bench friends? Bench friends. Okay. I think some of them only appear when you come back. Oh! Okay, that was... Well... Now I know to talk to the... The visitor. Okay. Still looking for garbage or something... Something where it's like a bench, I guess? I mean, I've probably done, like, a large percentage of these now. Bench friends, huh? Well, there's people over there. I think one of them's on a bench. No? Oh yeah, no, there is. Yeah, yeah. Let's just see. What if this is just a patience thing? I don't think this is a thing. I can't just sit. <laughs> okay, that's not it. Then there's the case of these footballs as well. I don't see any other park benches where there's someone sitting down. I definitely gotta get into the habit of talking to people more, because some of them do give you things. I think it's time to move on. I know I said that a while ago, but now, genuinely, I think I can't find anything else. That's just a stack of normal coins. Oh, but this is just this, okay. So, I mean, not bad. I've, I've done, I think, a pretty sizable amount, like... I'm 
Yeah, this is probably a lot of the ones. All right. I think I'm content. It does suck that I'm missing three coins though, like. Would've been nice to at least get that right. But they're probably in some sub area that I've just overlooked. Anyway, let's go. I will laugh if it's just here. Yeah. Doesn't look it. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's just coins. Never mind. Alright, let's move. Uh-oh, we've hit a proverbial fork in the road. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> Given my history with uh, ice stages, guess which one I'm picking? Divya Hen, it's the one where I'm not going to embarrass myself. What an amazing, energetic festival. Let's keep that energy going as we keep up the chase. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill. Oh yeah, right, this thing. I'm good. Bubble Lane used to be a beautiful resort until that foul creature showed up. Just look at him, guzzling all our treasured sparkle water. Won't you help us put a stop to him? We'll do some, some stuff here. No, it's another one of these. Someone near here. <laughs> Difficult to tell. Definitely nearby here. Right. 
There we go. <laughs> Incorrect, but still. Alright, well, there we go. The music to this kingdom sounds like elevator music. I think what I'm doing is so unnecessary, but I know it's doable. the button I wanted to press. Beach Volleyball. Oh! This is the Beach Volleyball thing. I think, I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, this, this power is fun. This is like, uh... Like how Flood should have felt in Sunshine. That's a cooler version of Flood. Just checking, just checking. Making sure there's like no stuff behind me first. We. Gotta be careful. Remember to turn around. Oh, this thing's spitting at me. Okay, that was the second one. Cool. Oh. 
any coins. Well, purple coins, to be specific. still the other door as well. Hang on, I needed another one of them. Please, <laughs> you push me under. Still took damage. You Not know just do that. <laughs> I guess that was a special moon. That like gave me a cutscene. Would be why. Owie, try all you want. I will never surrender the delicious sparkle water. Oh, he's mad. Three fountains left. Let's hop to it. Oops. That was fun. Oops. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna do it. I'll just grab the knot. Take advantage of the fact that I got one. Come on, I can do this. Again. I just don't want to lose this. Alright, let's just put this down. He says as he... Oh, okay. It's fine, I didn't lose it. I mean, it's good that I got this, because it can start growing. something. Okay. It's one. trust that this is going to be fine. <laughs> I vaguely recall this one. Just have to trust that I'm going to do this, okay. Okay. 
And I have to be on the lookout for the bonus one. Right, this is where it gets hard. Happy, please. Looking for... Okay, that's the bonus one. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. I was inside the chest. My bad. The chain reaction. Oops. Oh, okay. Hold on. I don't think there's anything else here from memory. Yeah, I think we're good. If there was, I would have seen it on the way down. your power. Oops. Alright, let's quickly get this. This power's fun. Where's the other one? Oh, it's up there. Okay. I could probably ditch this. <laughs> it's too much fun. Okay, hang on. Real brief. No! Ah, oh, I wanted it. Climb the last hat is my first dive through an underwater tunnel. Okay. I hope I don't need um, the power of a fish. Okay, good. <laughs> well, I do, but okay, it's here. fish gets a mustache. <laughs> oh no. I don't think so. Alright, out we go. Okay, that's two.
It's a big effort for fighting this thing. Back into this. So got it. One more. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's all this to go through, but... I don't think it was that arduous to come up here. Like, okay. Admittedly, there are boulders, but... Oh, it's this again. Okay. Need to go get some Goombas. I don't think I need that many. Let's go. No, Goomba lad. Oh, no. The fact that I have to shake the controller to do a high jump. Okay, it's gonna pull me back up here, but that's fine. I can just drop. Let the tower begin. Become one with the tower. I wonder if it's just like a phantasm, like she's not actually real, because she seems to just vanish into thin air. Whereas in the other ones, stay alive? I don't know. I need another... Still another power. Come here, fish. Just a temporary measure. Ow! Alright, now I'm good. Oh, there's hearts here. Whoa. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. I have done that a little prematurely. And that's back to normal now. Never mind. Somehow lava magically vanished. Okay. fun part. Maybe I don't remember this fight as well as I thought I did. Oh, good. <laughs> I got spit in the face. Alright, let's go. I got it, I got it, I got it this time. Oh no. That's fine. Okay, that was the wrong call again. Maybe I'm not remembering this. I thought you had to pound its head. Oh no, you do. You absolutely have to do that. Okay, disregard. Oh, there's the other knot. early again. Oh my god, what have I done? Okay. I could have had him there. There we go. <laughs> I mean, that is a painful death right there. Head just explodes.
My goodness, what a pretty sunset. And it's so nice that the fountains and the sparkle water are back. But it doesn't seem like Bowser is in his kingdom anymore. Shall we proceed to the next? Uh, not yet. I mean, there's still stuff to do. Be a pretty shot without the text. I mean, you can do that. Pretty photo, no? Okay. Yeah. I think it's just the temperature's warm as well. Alright. We're gonna leave Mario Odyssey here for now. I did save. Continue this next time. I'm gonna take a small intermission. The stream's not done yet, but... If y'all watching this specific VOD later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end, and hope you've been enjoying the playthrough so far. And as always, if you want to support the channel over there, clickety-click the buttons, like the like buttons, or you can also watch me do other things by clicking one of the videos that pop up, assuming I remember to do that. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye, YouTube.